Are you welcome? Today we're going to talk about expenses. So at this point, you should have your account set up. You should have your COGS, your cost of goods on your product tab set up. And now we're going to talk about expenses because uh, there are other expenses in your business that Amazon is unaware of. So we have to add those here. So let me take you to the expenses tab and show you how you can do that. So click on expenses and you're going to see all the expenses, the existing expenses that you have here. And you can search for an expense. You can uh, filter expenses by date. You can filter expenses by product. You can filter by category. And you can also filter by marketplace. And you can also, once you have what you're looking for, you just press filter and everything's going to be set up for you. You're going to see the filters here. If you want to import a list of expenses that you have on Google Sheets or Excel, all you have to do is click on Imports, download the template so you can make sure you got the columns in the right place. And then from here, you can upload your file. Once you fix the columns, you can upload the files. You're going to have your expenses here. And if you want to export your expenses to send to your partners, to your accountants, all you have to do is click on exports and you can wait a while or you can click here in mail me when it's ready and you're going to receive your file with all the expenses exported to your email. So that's how you can import and export. If you want to add an expense, uh, there are two ways to do that. You can scroll to down here to the ends and add a new expense here in the in the last line or you can click the button add that's my favorite way of doing this you click on ads and you put your expenses let's say you're hiring a freelancer to do your listing optimization and it's going to cost you 200 dollars and you can say it's one time or it's going to be monthly you can say when is the day that's going to start you can put a category so it can be like listing you can choose a product so that's uh, you can drill down your expenses to a product level, so that's very cool. So I can say it's for this product here, and you also can say what marketplace is going to be. Maybe you're doing like uh, listing in Spanish, so it's going to be for the Mexico um, marketplace and so on. Um, and there's something that I really like about this is about like big expenses. So let's say you hire a 3PL warehouse and it's going to cost you three thousand dollars per month so and you can say so starting today and going on forever or you can put a number of dates or a number of occurrences so a, a, a end date or a number of occurrences and then because every uh, seventh of each month you're gonna have a very big expense that's three thousand dollars and sometimes you don't want to see that because that's gonna every seventh is gonna see like a big drop on your profits so what you can do is you can click here and say amortize expense daily so instead of doing three thousand dollars on, on on each seventh day of each month you're gonna do like a hundred dollars per day so that way it doesn't look that weird so you can save here and if you go look for your expense just make sure you are on the correct date range so i'm gonna search for 3pl and I'm going to press filter here. And I should be able to see my expenses. And there you go. I have some expenses here. I think this is the one that I created. So if I want to delete this, all I have to do is click here and click on delete uh, expenses series delete these and all the following ones and only delete these. So I'm gonna delete all the series and we're done. So you see how important this is to take full control of your business, to really know your net profits and how your business is doing. All the things, for example, credit card fees that you're paying for Alibaba, accountants, uh, freelancers, softwares, Everything that you, you're using uh, on your business, uh, boxes, uh, shipping, that's not, uh, Amazon is not able to see it. So Amazon doesn't know about those expenses. You can use the expenses tab, 
put those expenses here so you can have the closest value to your net profit so you know how your business is doing. All right, that's it for now. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.